We're here at the Worthington Open Pit Diamond Mine located less than a half mile outside of Southwest Arkansas's famous Crater of Diamond State Park. This is our volcanic ore body that contains the diamonds. And the way it got here is there was sediment, clay, all around here and a shallow sea with sand and some gravel on the beach. Then there was earthquake vaulting and volcanic activity that brought all this material to the top. All this diamondiferous lamperite came to the surface. And then there was eons of erosion and it took probably a hundred feet off the top of this. And then uh, sediments of the shallow sea, gravel and sand, washed in on top of it. So I always figured it would be flat. You know, I'm thinking beaches are flat. And so, <laughs> you know, you can assume things. Well, this is all volcanic material here. This is the contact. This is our our wall. This is the edge of our property line and the volcanic material does continue over onto our neighbors. But we dug down here at the side because I knew a company in the 90s had found a lot of diamonds just 60 feet from this spot where I'm standing. So this is where I wanted to start. Well, in diamond mining, overburden is really important. In fact, any kind of mining. If you have to move a lot of overburden, it may not be worth it. Well, here, there was only two, three, or four feet of overburden. And I figured it would be flat. You know, beaches are flat, right? Well, that didn't prove to be the case here. So, these orange flags mark the top of the volcanic material and the bottom of the sediment, like sand and gravel. And isn't that funny, in just a foot there, it goes from that height that goes up a foot and then back down 18 inches and then back up 18 inches. And I'm just amazed at how, there's a little flat spot in through here, kind of flat. Then there's a little pocket there. Um, I'm gonna get in close if I don't break a leg. I'll still be close if I break the leg, but I wanna show you, here's a piece of gravel in the sediment. And then this is all volcanic lamparite right, right here. This is a different kind of material. So you've got the sedimentary right on top of the igneous. And so I flagged it. I marked right where the volcanic is and where the sediment meets. And uh, this just goes up and down all along here. Look how drastic that is. There's really a big dip there. Now, here, like I say, sediment, here's some gravel, beach gravel, sitting right on top of the volcanic material. And here's beach pebbles, cobbles, jaspers, chalcedony. You can even see a layer of like sand. And then the black is manganese and iron that leached in here. Let me kind of mess with it. Okay. So I'm peeling the sediment right off the top of the volcanic. That's right where the two meet. See, there's more gravel from the beach. More gravel right there where the sediment is sitting on the cooled, hard volcanic material. This is hard. That's one of the ways I was able to tell the difference between where the sediment was. It's softer, and this is really hard. And then... <laughs> From this low spot here, it goes way back up here. The volcanic, the top of the volcanic material is not flat. Look down through there. See how it zigzags up and down? I'm amazed by this. I, I find it fascinating. But the beautiful thing is we don't have 14 or 30 feet of overburden here. We've got two, three, and four feet. See, that's just real close to the top. So I'm down <laughs> in a hole. I dug a trench so that this would drain. See, I wanted to dig along here and flag this just so I could study and see how much overburden. So I dug this ditch and let me swing around here. This is all volcanic around me. And I dug a ditch in this volcanic material 
and it goes down there to those culverts and gets rid of the water when it rains. But anyway, looking back up here at the sediment, I'm going to try to climb this cliff while I'm holding a camera. This will be funny. Okay. The old man did it. Now, look at the beach gravels sitting right on top of the volcanic material and see how we've gone up and down all through there. You can see beach gravel right here too. These round cobbles. These rocks were once squarish. Oh, up in the Washita Mountains, which is 22 miles from here is Glenwood and the Washita Mountains. And these rolled down here in the shallow sea action, tidal action, back and forth. And that makes them round it off. So, so there's, there's rocks. So this is the top of the volcanic. This is volcanic and that's sedimentary. And then over here we've got some more. Ah, <laughs> for your entertainment. Uh, we got some more gravel here and volcanic right there and that gravel sitting right on top of it. So very interesting through there. It's anything but level. So you can assume one thing, but the reality of it's different. So I just thought it was interesting to flag all this.